hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, it's good to have you. Today I'm giving you a tour of our little one's room and our big girl's room. So stick around. I did a room tour of our boys' rooms last week, I think. So I'll link that in the description box below if you want to check that out. But today I'm showing you our little girl, our little, I keep saying little girl's room, but we have a boy sleeping in here right now. So it's not really a little girl's room right now. It's our younger one's room though. So let me show you what we have going on. This room is in the process of being remodeled. Actually, it's not even started yet. <laughs> so we have a lot we want to do in this room that we have not gotten to yet. Oh, really? Is that how it goes? <laughs> yeah, you need your face wipe still. <laughs> oh, yeah, you tell him. Okay, so we got a bunk bed here. Um, Eli's sleeping here with Noel and Hope right now, and he's pretty happy with that situation. We do not have a ladder on the bunk bed because he is a monkey and he doesn't need one. And the good thing about that is the little ones cannot get up on the top bunk. So he has no problem with it and keeps them off. So that's why there is no ladder on that bunk. And this thing is very sturdy. So it's not going anywhere, but the bunk bed, um, the rails, we had uh, repaired them a few times and finally we felt like it'd probably be safer to just have this compared to the rails that we had previously. And this is Hope's bed over here. Um, I did say last time that we don't have any dressers, but then I remembered we do have this one little dresser. It's a sewing dresser that the girls, used, we used to have doll stuff in it. And that's, I think, what it was intended for when it was built is a little doll dresser. Came from my mom, actually. And we have some socks in there. Um, I put Hope stuff in here. So this is her summer stuff. Her PJs are dirty and she just has a couple outfits and then winter stuff on the bottom. So we are using a dresser right now. I kind of forgot about that. Um, but we keep Hope's diapers up here. We use disposable a lot at night and cloth in the day as much as we can. And then these are for Noel just at night. And we keep extra diapers under the crib there. There's a box of books. And I told you all of our kids have a special box um, of their own stuff because we don't have dressers or somewhere for them to keep just their special things like birthday cards they get and that kind of stuff. That is Eli's under there. And under here, we do have some toys. We have some of our doll things, doll clothes and all that. I really want to go through that soon, but I have not to get, to get rid of stuff. But Noel loves dolls, and she'll play in here in her room with these dolls a lot. So that's why they have stuck around. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you don't need this anymore. She just finished lunch and didn't get quite wiped up enough. <laughs> So we have this trash can over here we put recently and that helps contain all the diapers and pull-ups and all the things. Yeah, let's not play with that though. <laughs> Usually she stays out of it, so that's good. Back here we have the closet and this kind of looks like a lot, but actually I've been working to get rid of my storage uh, room supply of clothes. I, I was storing all of our clothes in buckets downstairs and I've been working to get rid of that because I just don't want to keep so many clothes around so I've been just saving what I really like the most and keeping it in the closet of the kid that's going to wear it next so I've got different piles ones uh, or a couple of those piles up there are giveaway piles I always have a giveaway pile in this closet um, so when I start cleaning something out I start here grab that stuff and get rid of it um, but I have clothes that Eli will grow into clothes that Noel will grow into and then like these are noelle's church clothes clothes she'll grow into eli's clothes he'll grow into um, destinies hopes and then some sizes in between that they'll grow into but eli's clothes we store here in these buckets his winter stuff is big right now we'll go through that when winter comes but that's summer and winter pjs socks and underwear bathing suit and then some summer clothes and that's our laundry basket and then here is hopes that's her winter stuff which is a lot right now too for some reason throughout the winter we accumulated a lot we were given a lot which is awesome when winter comes we'll go through that but these are her summer clothes summer pjs so we don't keep much going through regularly and that's just a bucket of tights we had someone to give us a ton of tights so we have one of those for her and hope and we have one for Tori too. So as we get holes in them, we throw them away, but we just keep all those um, available. So these are some old cloth diapers that were made and for me and 
Um, I sometimes use them when I need them, when I'm running out, and these are um, just some extra diaper bags I really need to get rid of because I haven't been using. It's good to look over this stuff once in a while. So that's our clothing situation and our room situation for our little ones. When De this is our only crib, so when Destiny's ready for it, we may get a toddler bed or we may move Eli back with the other boys and separate these bunk beds. So we have two low beds, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna do yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we do have another baby that needs to come in here eventually or we need to find some space for her. Okay, next I'm gonna show you Belle and Tori's room. So this is my older girl's room. They insisted that they wanted to share a room and share a bed, which when we moved into this house, they had a bunk bed. So we passed that down to some other kids and we gave them our king size bed and we got um, a new one. So we had found a really good deal on a king size bed. When we went to buy them a bed, we ended up buying us a bed and passing ours down. So we use their bed as a guest room or their room as a guest room when we have short-term company. It's nice to have a king size bed for guests and it also gives them a lot of room when they're sharing a bed. So it's gone pretty well for us, but here is their room. I think I've showed you guys this room before. So Belle has a bedside table and all her stuff. And Tori does too. Tor See, Tori, she's an artist. She's got a little artwork there. <laughs> we have yet to paint this room. So um, that'll get painted and yeah. That'll be nice, but they decorate already a little bit. As you can see, we have some stuff. This is Belle's desk area and Tori's desk area. Uh, they Girls are a lot different than boys, right? They have all the knickknacks and things. Belle has a crate over here of her schoolwork and her aunt just let her borrow a whole bunch of books there. So that box of books Belle's super excited about. She's got some schoolwork out. So she uses her desk a lot more than Tori, but Tori's just Tori just had this passed down to her and she is excited to have her own space. So one thing I do have to show you that is so cute is in um, in their kids' church, probably about six months ago or more, they made war rooms. If you ever, um, if you saw the movie War Room, I think it's called. It's such a good movie, but I don't know. I guess that's the premise of this. But she sets this thing up. She's got scriptures written in here and... <laughs> She sets this thing up like this and she, regularly, like I'm telling you, regularly on a regular basis, she gets back there, she sits down back there and that and that's how she spends time with Jesus right there in her little war room. It is so cute. Coolest thing ever. So anyway, she has her own little war room. It's a DIY war room. You can make your own. They have a mirror here too. It's a little dirty. <laughs> and then this is their closet. Um... So my kids gave me permission to show you their closets, but we've got a whole bunch of clothes from Belle, our favorite things that we're saving for Tori up there. So just like in the other kids' room, I'm trying not to save so much, just very favorite things because we've pared down our clothes a lot. Belle has a sewing machine. She's got some extra purses. I tell you, my <laughs> we work regularly on getting rid of stuff in this room because... Um, they do like their stuff. Belle and Tori, I don't know which one is which, but they each have their special box, and that's our box of tights again in here. And they got hats and gloves and scarves and all that kind of thing. Um, Belle hangs a lot of her clothes, and then she uses this thing, which is really neat and organized, as you can see. <laughs> and then these are some clothes that are too small or too big and that we're saving. Tori has this. So this is how we've gotten away without dressers. We even have the shoe thing that we're not even using right now. So... Uh, we have a laundry basket there and then Tori has some like bathing suit cover-ups and leotards and undershirts and all kinds of fun belts stuff like that and then we got some sweaters hung up over here for Tori she has a lot of dresses I told you before that we have someone that gives us church clothes and she gives us beautiful things and so we have a lot of that and we have some stuff saved in there um, that she's maybe grown out of or she's about to grow into so we're just using our closet space for our clothes storage just because I can see it. I won't get lost and won't, it will definitely get used. So Tori, as you can see, has a lot of winter things here that we'll go through at winter time. But otherwise, she has like pajamas and summer stuff and shorts, t-shirts, long pants, long shirts, that kind of thing. We got a messy book pile up there. And they kind of keep their, I think they keep their socks and underwear mostly in their um, bedside tables. So... They put their own stuff away, as you can see. I try to stay out of that as much as I can. And yeah, so that's our girls' room. 
and maybe I'll give you, be able to give you a tour after we do some remodeling in our bedrooms. We'll be able to show you some of that stuff and show you it when it's painted. The the little one's room, I forgot to show you, there's an old rug on the floor because it's the carpet is so bad and stained from even when we moved in. So we hope to replace that. And yeah, so as, as we update them, hopefully I'll be able to give you a tour of what we've done with them and the boys we may design a little better too or decorate a little more. So thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this and we will talk to you soon. Bye.